Hi everybody, my name is Taylor. You may have seen me from some fertility videos from before, surrogacy, etc. Um, but today I actually want to talk about a random topic. It's kind of like a product review um, and it's called Kratom Tea. Some people pronounce it Kratom, Kratom, whatever. Well, I had heard about this online and I have high blood pressure. I also struggle with anxiety, like moderate anxiety. So I wanted to try something that would be non-narcotic, um, something that I could readily buy at a store or over the internet. Um, and tea seemed like a good solution because I've heard, you know, some people get really good results with calming tea um, or stimulating tea. So I came across um, Kratom, 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 Kratom whatever um and i read a bunch of stuff on it um there's pros there's cons and that's why i wanted to make this video so it might seem really cheesy but i did this whiteboard so that i wouldn't like forget the points i was trying to convey to you guys um but i really hope that this helps you make a decision if you want to try it it's not harmful to try it um but i know it's good to just have information before you go into something so one of the first things that i want to point out just for your own education, is it comes from a root, um, I don't know how to describe it, Metragna speciosa. Um, and it is a leaf. Um, I've heard that there's like a root form. I know they can come in different forms like powder or extract. Um, me personally, I've only tried the powder. So um, I'm very new to this. I've just done research. I've tried it a few times and um, by no means am I a medical professional. So disclaimer, um, but I just want to share some info with you. So um, another thing is this tea actually goes back um, a long time. Um, it's been used in the past 100 years for medicinal purposes um, and ceremonial purposes. Not really sure why, um, because in my opinion from myself using it, it's not really much more stimulating than coffee. But it definitely does have caffeine and maybe for some people if they use a higher do dose, they'll get that result. But for the average consumer, which is kind of like what I'm conveying to you, um, I don't really see it as something ceremonial. And it can sometimes be sedating, so probably wouldn't even want to go out after drinking it. Um, so uses for this are amazing. That's one of the reasons I was like sold to try it. Um, anxiety, depression, opiate withdrawal, which amazingly is very, very cool. So I've known some people who are coming off of like Oxy, um, Benzos, um, uh, Codeines, like you name it. And they were able to overcome some of those side effects using this tea, which is just amazing because they don't have to go on Suboxone, then weed off of Suboxone. There's just, this is the healthier alternative, um, in my opinion that um, they can go ahead and provide for themselves going through a detox. It's just helpful, non-narcotic, um, it's a tea. So that I found to be awesome. It does help with blood pressure. So that was one thing I was hoping for because I drink coffee and coffee is really what gets my day started. And by you know two o'clock, I've had like three cups. Well, for someone with anxiety and blood pressure issues like myself, it's really not good to be drinking that much caffeine. So um, this is a great alternative. Um, it doesn't lower your blood pressure, but instead of caffeine making it um, heightened like with coffee, it just maintains at that like normal place. Um, whatever your blood pressure is, you wouldn't see a spike in it. Um, it's from what I've read online. Pain management, really big one. Um, so some people who have like chronic pain, arthritis, stuff like that, it's been reported that they had amazing results with this tea um, and they were so happy they didn't have to get on a narcotic because again, I mean, we're having a huge opiate crisis in this nation and uh, why put yourself at risk to potentially get addicted and throw away your life. I mean, it's definitely worth trying. Not saying that ev this is good for everybody. Everybody's going to have their own opinion and preference, but for a lot of people, this is a great alternative. Um, energy and mood. So 
I don't know about you guys, but when I'm tired, my mood kind of sucks. Like I'm crabby, I'm grouchy, and I'm kind of negative. Like I don't really want to do anything. Um, so I feel like energy and mood kind of go hand in hand because by getting more energy, having more energy, you're more productive, which makes you feel more gratified. Like um, one of the results I got was I was really laser focused on things and able to complete tasks and just way more productive, but not in a manic way. It's just like you have this energy to do things you might not normally do on a daily basis. And I felt much more energy than what I get from coffee. Um, but again, I didn't feel like running a marathon. It was just more like I had the ambition enough to get tasks done that I may not have done otherwise. Um, PTSD, I can't say I've had results with that. I do have PTSD, um, but I haven't done it enough to experience that. So my guess is that if you get like a sedating strain, that's where you might experience that. Um, so there are different strains. Speaking of strains, there's Thai, Mangda, Borneo, Indo, Bali, like there's a lot. I'm not super educated on those. I know they all have different results, different side effects. Um, and different purposes. So like for me, I want it for energy to substitute for caffeine. Other people, they might want it for their pain so they can take this tea and then take a bath and just feel so much better. Um, so there's different reasons for using different strains. You're definitely, I mean, don't waste your money going online and buy something and be like, oh, I was looking for energy and I'm like totally tired. Like. There's different strains, different purposes, different side effects, and you will get a different result. So speaking of strains, there's different veins, meaning yellow vein, red vein, the vein of the leaf itself. Again, I'm not super educated on that. Um, it is something definitely to research. The one that I tried was, I believe it was yellow vein. Yes, yellow vein Borneo. Um, and for me, it's not sedating um, and it does give me energy so um yellow vein is notorious for that i think it's called like in asia it's called like the pimp vein don't know why i'm guessing maybe it's because you feel like a pimp got all that energy um so you'll want to research that don't waste your money just get online spend 15 minutes figure out which strain does what order that strain different brands now this is important definitely research the brands their notoriety, their reputation, and super important, the user reviews. So many companies were a scam, like let's say it was supposed to be 100%, like this one says, 100% uh, of the ingredient is Kratom. So you wanna make sure that you're getting something that's actually 100%, it's authentic, it's um, been tested, like, you don't want to get manipulated, ripped off, and you'll know because you'll read the user reviews and you'll be like, eh, skip, um, that's exactly what I did. So I just went down the checklist, found one that I like, and then of course I looked at pricing because guys, this isn't the cheapest stuff. Um, for example, I went with Left Coast Kratom. This is the only one I've tried, so I can't give them like this amazing raving review, but I did have more energy and I was in a little better of a mood. So um, anyway, this little bag here, which is, it says 28 grams, which I don't know what that translates to, but I would say maybe like three tablespoons, not a lot, was $10. Um, so this was like three servings. So not as cheap as your normal tea from the store, but again, more potent, better results, etc. cetera. Um, so there's different brands, do your research, make sure that you're not getting ripped off because there's lots of fakes out there. Pros and cons. All right, so. Sorry about that, guys. I don't have my tripod today. Um, so excuse that little mistake there. Uh, let's just keep going. So I just wanna say this, this is very important. Do not use if you're pregnant or if you have a mental disorder. Pregnancy, obvious, I don't need to explain that. Mental disorder, because some of this has mental results, mental side effects, um, I would assume that if you're like bipolar, it could increase your mania. Or if you suffer from depression and you have a sedating one, I feel like that could cause you to feel more depressed. Um, and even the back of the packaging says, caution, 
This is not to be used while driving a motor vehicle, okay? So if it's a sedating one, it may cause you to feel sleepy. Do not use if pregnant. And then uh, 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 do not use if you have a mental health disorder. So, you know, again, I, I could definitely see like bipolar, schizophrenia, um, not ADHD because if it's a calming one, it actually does help with ADHD. I didn't add that here, but it does. So don't use in those scenarios. Now, some of the cons, um, let's talk about those first. These are just some of them. Of course, there's more online, but it's not FDA approved. So the crappy thing about that is though a lot of people are using it, nobody's had any harmful, I shouldn't say nobody, there's a lot of people who could have potentially had bad experiences, but a lot of the reports are really positive, um, but I guess it hasn't been really highly, highly tested. Um, and I will say that while it is not addicting, let's make that clear, this is not an addicting tea, you can get a tolerance for it and some people have started abusing it. Um, not abuse in the sense of like an opiate where you're high out of your mind. It, I wouldn't even describe it as a high. Um, in my opinion, it's not a high. It obviously has some of these side effects in a positive way, a little better mood, a little more energy. Um, but if you're the type of person who instead of taking like one Benadryl, you take four or you're the type of person who, instead of having the two tablespoons of NyQuil, you have half the bottle. You might be the kind of person who would do three times the serving size, which by the way, varies depending on your preference. Um, my package says two to four tablespoons, or I'm sorry, teaspoons. Um, for me, I found that two like really didn't work, so I did three and that was good for me. Um, so, not being FDA approved, guess what that means, guys? Because there's some, um, what's the word? <sighs> well, there's been some discrepancies and just there hasn't been official permission with the consent of the FDA, et cetera, some warnings. Um, you can't buy it with a credit card. So Visa, MasterCard, eh, they're out of there. And it makes it really unfortunate because when you're trying to buy it online, you have to either use an e-check, PayPal, uh, Bitcash, is it Bitcoin, that's what it's called. Um, so, I mean, it's legal and everything, but you do have to cross that issue. And um, I just used an e-check, not a big deal. It took me like two seconds, but it's still annoying. So um, until it becomes legalized and it's something that's like in Whole Foods and Sprouts and things like that, although I have heard it is sold in smoke shops. I don't really spend time in smoke shops, but I have heard that it is. Um, and you know those are everywhere. But unfortunately right now, there's, they're just not in the position to take it, except accepting it with credit cards. So you're gonna have to use some other type of format. Like I said, e-check, Bitcoin, PayPal, like they'll, they'll show it on the website and you'll be buying it online more than likely. Um, so one of the other bad side effects, it tastes bad. This is not a tea for you to sit around with honey and lemon and enjoy. Like this tea does not taste good. Um, it tastes like dirt, literally like a half a cup of dirt mixed with water. It is not good and it's not an enjoyable experience. But we all know that shots of alcohol, straight alcohol, like tequila, um, you know, shots of vodka, like they taste like crap. But because we want the result, we're willing to go through that experience. Another thing that I could, would compare it to, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I try to do that every day. It tastes disgusting, but I want the result. I want the health, I want the detox, I want those, um, you know, healthy results. So. You kind of have to look at it like, okay, I'm gonna suffer for one second. I'm gonna chug this six ounces of tea and then, you know, wash it down with some Diet Coke, chocolate milk. I've heard chocolate milk was the best um, as far as getting rid of the flavor right away. But it's two seconds and it's worth the next four hours of energy and feeling good about yourself. And, um, you know, like you have the ability to conquer tasks that you wouldn't necessarily be able to conquer without the issue of getting addicted like Adderall where it gives you lots of energy and then mm, you come down and that's just a really bad experience. I've heard it is awful coming off of that. Um, <clears throat> so another thing, 
Some people have reported for me, no issue, no problems. Stomach ache, itching, sedation, like unwanted sedation when you were trying to have like a stimulating experience. Um, and the other crappy thing is that you do get a tolerance. So it's not like every time you have a cup of tea, if you use it daily, eventually you're gonna need more and more tablespoons um, or grams if you prefer to measure it like that. But you'd have to get a scale and I just, it's unnecessary. Um, so you can get a tolerance, but if you use it like me, it's like when I have a lot of things to do or a really busy day, or I know my day is gonna go from like 7 a.m. to like 11 p.m., like kids, household, work, yada, yada, that might be a day that I would use it. But if it's my day off and I'm at home and I'm relaxing and I'm, you know, then either I might do a calming strain or there's no need for it. Um, so if you wanna keep your tolerance sensitive, you definitely want to like not use it too frequently. Um, and the pros, of course, I've listed a ton of them. It's not a narcotic, you can buy it online. Um, so far there haven't been really uh, like insanely terrible reports of bad reactions that people had. Um, I've watched a ton of videos on people reviewing it and I felt like I should put one out as well because some things weren't said that I wish were said. Um, but I just think that, you know, this is something that as far as pros, it has a, more pros than cons. And the cons you may not even experience, like stomach ache, itching, I didn't have any of that. Um, numb tongue, you do get that, it's kind of funny. When, when you drink it for about two minutes, you'll be like, oh, my, my tongue's like tingling. Um, but it's just really, it's not um, debilitating, you can still talk and everything, it's just like a little, little tingle. Um, but that's all I know so far about Kratom. I am definitely gonna stick with it, keep trying it, um, and the stimulating ones. Um, I'm actually not gonna try the sedating ones, and the reason why is because I've heard about something called kava tea. Um, I've heard negative things, I've heard positive things. I wanna learn more about it, and I will make a video to share with you guys. Um, because it's becoming a really popular thing and it's supposed to be really soothing, um, it, like an alternative to alcohol. So if you're someone who like wants to wind down with alcohol, the alternative um, would be this kava tea, which doesn't put you in like a mental state that alcohol would. Um, so not gonna try sedating ones. Um, that's on you guys to figure out and leave comments, please, if you find one that you just feel is really, you know, calming because there, there are days that my anxiety is overwhelming. And so I may wanna go to something like that. Um, it's a much better solution than self-medicating with other things. Um, so yeah, right now I used Left Coast. Again, I don't have, you know, really anything good or bad to say about them. Um, I enjoyed this, but I will tell you when I started, I started a low dose and I experienced nothing. Um, so I wouldn't say start at the lowest dose, start at the medium dose. So if it says two to four, try three. If you have a super sensitive stomach, maybe go with less than the normal dose. But if you're someone who does fine on medications and you can eat just about anything, um, I would recommend, you know, doing like midway. But anyway, my name is Taylor. Again, if you have any questions, I'm gonna continue to do research. Um, my YouTube channel is bombstepmom.com. Um, so I have stepkids and a blended family and just lots of stories about infertility, surrogacy, IVF, I mean all of it, like lots of knowledge on different things. But I like to expand my horizons and especially with mental health because that is very important to me. I've been through a lot of things in my life and mental health is something that can be really debilitating and scary and it can affect the people around you and it can just really make you not love yourself in the way that you know God and others want you to be loved. So um, this is kind of an alternative thing that I can feel like I'm giving back and providing people options that are not self-medicating and non-narcotic. So anyway, please like my channel because I'm really new and I don't have a lot of followers and stuff, but I think I have some interesting things to say. So again, bombstepmom.com, and I also have a blog that's bombstepmom.com um, slash blog, uh, forward slash blog, if you ever wanna hear some of my other stories with my process of IVF surrogacy and infertility. So thanks again, I'm so glad you watched and enjoy your Kratom. Let me know how it goes.